plant tropism, plants responding to their environment. So tropism, scientific word means to turn or to bend. Okay, so we have tropism. When we're talking about tropism, we're talking about how plant, plants respond to their environment. There are four types of tropism. Phototropism, hydrotropism, thingotropism, and gravitropism. So let's look at the prefixes on each one of those words. Photo means light. So a plant responding to light. Makes sense. They need it to survive. Hydrotropism. Hydro means water. How plants respond to water. Thigmotropism. Thigmo means touch. So how plants respond to touch. And gravitropism. Plants actually respond to gravity as well. So let's look at these one at a time, starting with phototropism. Phototropism, again, light, to bend towards the light. Stems and leaves of a plant will bend towards light. We call this positive phototropism. So in a plant in normal circumstances, the light is in the, all around, some, the sun moves through the sky, and so it gets an even exposure of light on all sides of the plant. And plants will grow straight up, and the roots will grow straight down. However, if you take that plant and you put it inside of a box or a room and you have a single source of light from like a window, the stem, as it grows, look how it bends toward that source of light. Look how the little stems for each leaf has bent so the leaves are facing the light. Trying to get as much light as possible. Remember, light is a source of energy for plants. But notice also the roots. The roots demonstrate negative phototropism because the roots bend away from the light. So as the roots grow, if there's some sort of light getting to that soil, the roots will grow the opposite direction. That is phototropism. All right, so first one was phototropism. Second one, hydrotropism. Hydro meaning water. So roots bend or grow towards water, which totally makes sense because they need water. Plants need water to grow. So we have a plant here, and we can see its roots, a water source. So this is a pot that's, that slowly leaks water into the soil. So the soil over here is really moist, where the soil over here is pretty dry. And if we watch the roots growing, we will see that the roots grow towards that water. Once they find that water, they're going to keep growing towards it and growing towards it. That direction of the roots growing towards it's the plant responding to the water in its environment, hydrotropism. All right, so there's hydrotropism. Thigmotropism. Thigmo meaning touch. So how do the plants respond to touch? Now this isn't all plants. This is just some plants. There are three different types. First example are vines. So vines are plants that grow, grab onto other things. They, most of them have these little tendril type stems. They wrap around other objects and that gives provides stability for a weaker stem on that plant and it helps to grow taller and taller and taller, higher and higher up. And the higher up you are, the more sunlight you get. All right, so here's another example where the main stem actually wraps around. All right, and here's another example, the tendrils wrapping really, really tight around that pole. And so the rest of the normal stems can hold the leaves up and the plant can grow taller and taller. Okay, another example of thigmotropism is, is a mimosa plant. Mimosa plants, respond to touch. So the leaves here, these little tiny leaves on there are called leaflets. And if you touch that plant anywhere along there, it responds and those leaflets bend in and they fold up and the leaf almost disappears. It's hard to say exactly what benefit this has, but it may, might look, look wilted, less tasty. It can kind of hide it amongst some other plants. So it's a, it's a defense mechanism for the plant. All right, a third form of tropism, thigmotropism, is carnivorous plants. These have specialized leaves that close around insects to digest them. So this is a Venus flytrap, and those are two leaves, and the fly gets trapped inside. So if you look at the inside, they have these three little hairs there. Those are called the trigger hairs. Those hairs, if they get touched, they cause these two leaves to bend in. So some sort of insect crawls in there and it triggers it and it takes a few moments, but it closes down. And these little fringed hairs kind of hold them in, kind of provide the trap and it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And then it produces some digestive enzymes and dissolves that 
poor little unsuspecting insect. But the reason why is not to get calories or energy from the insect, but to get nitrogen. The nutrient that plants normally get from the soil, they have found an adaptation to be able to suck it out of insects that they capture. Pretty fascinating. All right, so those are our three forms of thigmotropism. So the, the vine tendrils, the mimosa plant closing up, and our carnivorous plants. Last form of tropism, gravitropism. So talking about gravity, bending. The plant bends because of gravity. So stems and leaves grow up against the pull of gravity. That's called negative gravitropism because it goes against the direction of gravity. Whereas roots grow down with gravity, a positive gravitropism. So normal growth, stem goes straight up, roots grow straight down. However, what happens if the pot gets knocked over and the plant continues to grow? The plant, how does it respond to gravity? Well, interestingly enough, the stem will bend so that the rest of the plant is growing upright. And the roots, interestingly enough, will start growing down. The new growth, the new growth on those roots will go downward. So it's responding to gravity. A negative gravitropism because it's going against gravity and a positive gravitropism because it's going with gravity. So those are our four tropisms. Remember, tropisms, we are talking about plants responding to their environment. Phototropism, hydrotropism, thigmotropism, and gravitropism.